my name is Plato. Welcome to my video. We're going to do some axolotl tests. Welcome to the stream. Today we have a lot to do. The main thing I want to focus on is make sure we go and get signs to put in our graveyard. It's going to be our graveyard, right? And so we want to make sure all of our little guys are remembered. We're going to write down some of the names that we need to remember. We had some axolotls despawn recently, unfortunately. And so what I want to do is make sure we get all of their names written down and we can remember what they were. We're going to make graves for each individual one. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly here. One thing we could do is we could either put it on each individual gravestone or we could make a list of the things. Aren't axolotls not supposed to despawn if you name them? Yes, uh, if you collect them with a bucket like this or you name them, they're not supposed to. However, for some reason, there's been a bug going on for me recently where it does it anyway. So I don't know, kind of annoying. I'm gonna do a test today. We're gonna make a little small container for a couple of them and see if they despawn. Because the one possibility is that they were despawning because they were crawling up on the edge of my pond and dying. But I was there for a couple of them and they despawned without getting up on the edge. So I'm not sure if that's what it is. Perfect. Okay, in remembrance, and I guess this is a little off center now, so I'm gonna do another stack right here. Guys, by the way, I finished all of the quad beacons. So if you take a look here, technically they're supposed to be purple and yellow. For some reason, this shader makes the purple ones look white, which is kind of annoying. In remembrance, we have Tom, Jerry. Do you guys remember more? I don't remember any of the despawn ones. I might have to go back and watch the footage. Um, that way I can put them all on here because honestly, right now I'm having a trouble remembering them. Whoa, the clock tower? Yeah, I finished up the clock tower. I did finish the roof on it. It's looking pretty good. I think it looks pretty solid. I am doing a whole bunch of more of these villager houses. They're coming along nicely. So I've got like three more that I'm almost done with. I'm gonna be alternating in some stone roofs. I think it should look pretty good. This is where we had the pond. What I wanna do is make a little water container for some more oxalotls and see if the issue was that they were swimming up on the edge. Cause if we can put them in a, like a box with plain water, nowhere to get out and they still despawn, then we'll know we're in trouble, right? Let's take penguin. Pe Actually penguin's like a grandfather. So we're not gonna take penguin. We're gonna do dragon fruit and Milo. Nothing too crazy. Just kind of like an axolotl. Uh, aquarium, if you will, is what we're gonna do here. What's up, Brandon Zeltman? How are you doing? What were the buckets of stuff? I've never seen those before. Those are axolotls, user. I'll show you in just a second. Oh my. Well, hello there, sir. You. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you should make a fish and axolotl tank in your base. I'll probably do a tank at some point. I'd love the axolotls to live in our pond. That would be awesome. Okay, perfect. I do have a ton of axolotls we can test this on. I wanna give it a little bit extra room in here just to make sure they aren't too squished. And I'm gonna make sure it's full of water uh, sources. Perfect, okay. Now, actually, you know what? Let's also do the edges here, or at least put glass here on the edges. If the underwater area wasn't lit up, drowns could have spawned and killed them. Okay, well, it technically is. I don't think drowns could spawn in this like too high pool. So I don't think that was the issue in here. Um, maybe they could have though, and that's possible. So I'll make sure to light this up as well. How do you uh, tame axolotls? So you can't really tame them like a pet, uh, but you can breed them by using tropical fish. You can't technically tame them like a pet would normally, like a dog or anything like that. Instead, you can just uh, kind of capture them and put them in a tank or something like that. If they don't despawn, then we'll make a really nice like axolotl tank. I'd prefer to keep them in a pond if we can, which is why I'm just doing a test for now. Now, this is ugly as heck, I am aware. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Layer of blocks like this. And then once you fill it up in the top, you just break those and it fills up the bottom underneath. So, we, oh, that's a baby. I forgot dragon fruit is still a baby. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, these are uh, very at risk of despawning. I'm hoping it doesn't happen, but it's very possible. Okay, so oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Once you put the water in there, it's got like a nice water tank look. All right, cool. Tell Tiger when I said hi when you get back at base. Okay, I will. <laughs> Hello, Tiger. Phil says hi. <laughs> okay, we'll just do this to make sure it's all water sources. I don't want to give them any reason to despawn. I don't know if that's even a thing technically, but this is a good way to make sure that they don't despawn. We got a whole bunch of these put in here. Let me break all of these. We could leave one or two just to make it look nice down here, and then we can bone meal the bottom as well. Let's leave that like that. Perfect. We're going to put trap doors on the top just like this. Let's go name Bean real quick though. Bean, what a great name by the way. Whoever suggested that, thank you so much. It's perfect for our little guy here. 
I do very quick streams and I want to make sure that I'm getting everything said I want to say before the end. Okay, that looks nice. <laughs> that was instant. Yo, can I just put, okay, yeah, I can do that underwater. Perfect. Just like that. And let's bone mill one more time. Okay, perfect. What do you guys think of our aquarium? This is going to be really a test, right? We want to make sure that they're not going to despawn. Guys, by the way, we're at 8.8K likes. Cool, guys. I think that looks pretty good. Great way to test if these guys are going to stay in here or despawn. So we're going to leave them for now. How long have you been playing? If you're talking about this world, it's been about four weeks. Okay, cool. I think that's good for our little aquarium here. I, now we're just going to have to leave them and we'll come back and see how it goes. You're so organized. Uh, not really, man. I literally always have so much stuff in my inventory. It actually is such a problem. You sound so cute, bruh. <laughs> you know. I am kind of cute. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, this has been a fantastic stream. I'm really enjoying it. I just want to take a look here. Let's check on our axolotls and see if they're still here. Heck yeah, they're all still here. In fact, they're all grown up now. Thank you so much. It's been a fun stream. I will see you all later. Have a good one. Bye.